Hi Taurus! Welcome to your mid-July 2019 Tarot and Astrology reading. We are going into Leo season. Hmm. Yeah. The bright lights of Leo season, the bright sunshine of Leo season, and you might feel a little bit like all you want to do is stay at home. Or lie on a beach and do absolutely nothing. If you feel a little bit lazier than usual, that's fine. If you want to redecorate your home, if you want to redecorate your cave, again, that's fine. If you want to hide away from the world, invest in yourself, invest in your family, do that too. The sun will make a tricky aspect on the 29th to Uranus in your sign. What's your temper? Because what is bothering you might be a catalyst for something bigger yet unnecessary to occur. Unexpected developments might happen. You might feel triggered to do something or act irrationally or erratically. If you can meditate more, if you can try and harmonize those energies and not react from your ego, you won't do as much damage. But there's something around that time that could feel as though it is a rag to you. The red rag to the bull myth. Yeah, it's because you need something to change. You need a new direction. Or you need to feel like you're going in the right direction in general. So, okay. Jupiter in the 8th. Where you connect on a soul level. Where you feel that deep, intense Scorpio energy. Jupiter is sort of enhancing you in the Scorpio arena. Because it is making you aware of your own intuition, your own powers. It's also making you aware of your jealousy. Jupiter's been retrograding for a few months. I think it was April. Yep. Here we go. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, I love it when they just confirm things. Death card, Scorpio energy, five of swords, jealousy, nine of wands, defenses, and the six of swords being the bigger person and moving on from it. Something's triggering you. And I wouldn't be doing what I set out to do if I didn't tell you about that so that you can you can sort of react differently. If you want to lose your cool around the 29th, give or take a few days before and after, please be mindful that your temper could flare. It really could. You could shock yourself. Now that's not to say that there aren't beautiful energies because Mars in Leo in your family sector, your home sector, Cancerian energy, how you love is making beautiful aspects to Jupiter in your, you know, eighth house energy. Great time to have a date at home. Spending time at home with your most intimate partnerships, your most intimate relationships, deciding you want to go into joint finances with a partner, deciding you want to commit to something. If you're going to sign papers, do it in August. Mercury is still in retrograde, causing havoc right up until the 31st of July. So just bear that in mind, Taurus. The second new moon of the month in Leo on the 31st, again well aspected by Jupiter. Time to make a wish. What kind of home do you want? What kind of partnership do you want? What kind of soulmate do you want? Or how do you want this to pan out in the next month? Write it down. Ace of Swords, write it down. Write down your intentions on that new moon. That new moon is ooh, beautiful, especially if you're trying to manifest money. That eclipse in Capricorn has made you aware of how far you can go. And if you're not going quick enough, which you won't be because Mercury's retrograding and Jupiter's retrograding, give it till August. You will not react out of jealousy if you feel as though the best things are coming to you too. And that you deserve them all. And there you are right underneath the reading to remind you that the Nine of Pentacles is a coming. The Age of Pentacles. Work is on your mind. The Emperor, High Priestess, Knight of Pentacles and the Hierophant. You, yet again, are the master oh, of your own destiny. Wow. Oh, wow.
Interesting. The plot thickens. King of Pentacles. If you are a Taurus who is searching for or has been trying to manifest a partner who will commit to you, commit to your journey, they're there. Marriage is very much in the cards for some reason. I think it could be a couple of Tauruses watching this maybe that are in long-term relationships that do get engaged. Hierophant, Knight of Cups and Justice is very much a proposal. <laughs> and I think with the High Priestess and the Emperor, if you're dealing with an Aries or a Pisces, there's a real strong connection that almost cannot be broken. If you're dealing with another Earth sign, I get the same vibe. Like Taurus energy in general, it feels as though some of you want to make something legal. Sign papers, as I say, if you can wait till August, please do. Justice. Ah. Very interesting how Taurus energy and Libra energy comes up side by side whenever you're both ruled by Venus and yet we have Mars right bang in the middle. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Temperance and the King of Wands. For some of you, you may have recently heard from a Sagittarius. <laughs> okay, we have an air sign. Ah, okay. You're dealing with an air sign. Hmm. You don't trust them. That jealousy is coming up. That suspicion is coming up. That Jupiter in the eighth house energy is coming up. You're suspicious of an air sign or somebody who you feel is patronizing you in the workplace. As I say, Taurus, don't interrupt. Some of you are healing a relationship with a fire sign, Sagittarius. Aries or Leo or you're feeling as though there is a connection occurring there that could be very healing. Hmm. Some of you are rekindling actually with um, a spouse where things have been tricky. Uranus in your sign Taurus bear in mind is making you make crazy decisions at times. Some of you are going on a double date, <laughs> possibly with a Libra person. Justice in the Knight of Cups just made me think double date. There's two guys here. There's two kings. Um, actually, there's three. Okay, so you're not for want of options. Venus and Cancer could have brought you options. Venus and Cancer is very good for social media, Tinder, Bumble, whatever that stuff. You know, online dating. As I say with Mercury Retrograde, be careful who you meet. But for some of you, there's a connection on the way that really has big ramifications in your life, big unexpected changes. Jupiter in the eighth house is very likely to bring you a marriage partner if that's what you're trying to manifest, if Jupiter being in Scorpio last year did not. So romantically, Taurus, you're looking for the real deal. Um, for some of you that have been wronged, there's a very unusual twist of karma and I think it's Saturn's aspect, Saturn being in Capricorn. You're going to see something that makes you feel a sense of retribution. Do not get on your high horse about it. Saturn will do what Saturn will do. Saturn is in fellow Earth sign Capricorn and you may see someone who wronged you get retribution. You may find out something that makes you feel sort of lighter about the person, that's fine. Being spiritually aware and being comfortable with the universe, your relationship with the universe and knowing that things like revenge and jealousy, that, you know, the lower echo of a Scorpio energy with Jupiter being in your eighth house. Um, don't give in to the need to say, I told you so. When you see something transform and transpire the way you suspected, don't say, I told you so. There's very healing energies here. And there's also a chance. There's also a chance for those of you that are involved either in the law or in politics with justice here, a chance to be self-employed, a chance to be, a chance to take an adventure on it, a chance to take a gamble on it. It's more August's energy. As I said, with Mercury and retrograde, I don't think you should put pen to paper on things, but if you have to, um, you might have to revisit it at a later point and sort of renegotiate things. 
With the emperor here, I feel for a lot of Taurus, the goal is to be self-employed, the goal is to be self-sufficient, the goal is to be a CEO, um, or at least be in love with your career, at least feel that level of control. And you're getting an opportunity to advise, to create a commitment, to create a bond. Very strong element of commitment here. Which is funny because Uranus is aspecting the sun. Um, the sun being in your homely sector. Some of you are literally working from home. Some of you are literally starting your own business from home. But you have a spirit in July, Taurus, to cut out the dead wood, to look after yourself and to dream from your own bed, to be comfortable in not necessarily forging ahead, but manifesting your desires and letting letting the things that need to be released be released you're letting things happen as they may i do want to say be careful what you put out be careful what you say mercury is still in retrograde until the 31st you could really really lose it with an air sign um if there's a tension with an air sign it could be quite hard to reconcile it if you accuse them of something they didn't do if you're involved in some sort of a tryst with somebody that is unethical, be prepared as we move towards the Aquarius full moon, particularly if it's to do with the workplace for information to come out. Something torrid may be exposed. Capricorn is Saturn sign. Karma is a coming. So keep your karma clean, Taurus. Enjoy July. Let the boss energy flow through you. And just know that just because you're not doing everything in July doesn't make you any less of a boss. Rest, recover, recharge. When we get into Virgo season, it's playtime. Love you guys. Bye.